Hello, my name is Abhikaran Singh. Today I'll discuss about my blog post one, a technical presentation. Today my topic is cyber terrorism. First of all, I'll discuss about introduction to cyber terrorism. I searched online and witnessed that according to our FBI, cyber terrorism is a premediated and a politically motivated attack uh, against any information, computer system, programs and data which results in violence against people by different subnational uh, sub groups. Moreover, these threats posed by this attack has grabbed uh, the attention of mass media, the security community and information technology industry. The manufacturing sector shows particular cyber security challenges because of the specific nature of operating engineering and business power systems which consist of network machines sensors and many more next i'll talk about types of hackers there are different types like black hat these hackers uh, break into computers with malicious intent white hat hackers work for government for make systems safer and more resilient gray hat hackers are hackers who hack into computer networks and systems without any malicious intent Script kiddies are amateur hackers. Green hats are newbies who want to learn more about cyber attacking skills. Blue hat hackers are hired by different organizations to check bugs in their system. Red hat hackers are uh, hired by government agencies to check vulnerabilities. State uh, nation sponsored hackers are uh, their motive is to prevent and monitor international threats. Malicious insiders are those hackers who expose and exploit organizations' confidential information. And moreover, gaming hackers are hack hackers who hack into games. And botnets are those hackers who, whose motive is to compromise high volume of network systems. Next type of cyber attacks. There are various types of attacks like man in the middle, man in middle, is different type of attack which includes hijacking, IP spoofing and many more. Pissing and spear pissing attacks are uh, uh, where cyber terrorism attackers send uh, different fraud emails to people. Drive-by drive attack are those types of attacks which are used to spread malware in the system. Botnet attacks are collection of system networks with which attackers have injected malware. These mainly use infected system with malware to carry out DDoS. SQL injections are uh, attacks that happen when cyber terrorists inject malicious code in an SQL server. Malware attack attacks are those attacks which are used for different types of cyber attacks like viruses and many more. Cross-site scripting attacks are a type of cyber attacks which make use of third-party websites to inject malicious JavaScript into the target's web browser. Password attacks are those attacks which are authenticated mechanism to gain access to users' information. Like these are, uh, consist of brute force, dictionary attacks or keylogger attacks. DOS attacks are uh, known as denial of service attacks. It is one of the most widespread types of cyber attack. Uh, these attacks can easily be spotted with help of analytical tools. DDoS attack is also same as DOS attack. Cryptojacking, uh, hacking into cryptocurrencies, mining them. Next, I'll talk about targets. And there are various targets like computer networks and information of the system, computer infrastructure, personal, uh, personal information of person, any kind of device connected to internet. They can also hack those devices, data centers, and online banking is common example, which cyber terrorists uh, targets nowadays. Next, categories of cyber terrorism. There are five categories of cyber terrorism, that is incursion, destruction, Disinformation, denial of service, defacement of website. These all are the categories that are in cyber terrorism. Next, features of cyber terrorism. 
there are various features like minimal resources required a person needs minimal resources to hack into someone's computer anonymity a person use different nicknames or use guest accounts to hack into other agencies which will make harder to look for that person no barriers there is no barriers that they can perform activities from anywhere from the world enormous enormous they have variety of targets to which they can target boundaryless they can easily use different locations at one time to confuse the agencies wider effect uh, they have a lot of potential which directly affects large number of terrorists most efficient this uh, it requires few people and few inputs furthermore it can be accessed remotely as well uh, i'll talk about some of the past incidents like one of the teen hacked uh, nasa systems uh, in the year 1999 and it caused 21 days shutdown of nasa computers hackers were a uh, hacker was none other than uh, james jonathan james who was only 15 years old and he also penetrated us department of defense division computers from where he took uh, steal a piece of nasa software and he cracked the nasa computers that sport international space system it was the he was the first um, uh, person to carry computer attack against american agencies um, 2007 cyber attacks on estonia uh, this was a series of ha hack uh, hacking attacks which were made by people it happened when government decided to move bronze silver from talen center to less prominent military uh, cemetery located on city's outskirt when researchers researched that this attack shows ddos attacks next i'll talk about symptoms if person is under any attack there are some uh, symptoms like uh, he'll get uh, more pop ups in his web browser uh, the system crashes uh, after some time or there will be more unknown contents in his messages or whatsapp uh, he will get a lot of malicious links or attachments uh, his device software is running in uh, some erratic way erratically next how to uh, who are behind these attacks uh, uh, outsider threats outsider threats are those people who include different organized criminals or some groups professional hackers amateur hackers and many more insider threats are those people who include uh, different people who have authorized access to different companies assets these may include employees who are careless of security procedures and policies and business and partners that have uh, system access next i'll talk about prevention of cyber attack uh, cyber attack can be prevented in many ways like update uh, updating the software uh, develop uh, de by developing cyber security installing uh, installing some spam filters and anti malware softwares implementing cm siem deploying uh, intrusion uh, deploying intrusion detection and prevent software uh, creating dlp program updates of uh, update software that i have already told uh, now i'll talk about uh, implementing cm what is cm cm is uh, known as security information and event management it is a solution that supports threat detection compliance and security at uh, incident management through the collection and analysis next i'll talk about is uh, conclusion cyber terrorism is a growing a growing concern in today's society according to dr edward magio in his article cyber terrorism in the past minute there have been approximately 54000 serious computer attacks reported to hackerwatch.org according to him business and policy makers as well as us uh, 
individuals need to work to find solutions to not only combating but preventing these kinds of problems in future as you can see due to covid 19 pandemic the there is increase in number of hacking the cyber attacks as in january it was only 1000 and it increased by 4000 <coughs> so in it concludes that if person uh, hackers identify can view verify from 15 years nowadays to 70 years as many antiviruses are also installed but uh, as said there is no 100% completed thing that uh, b uh, because sometimes uh, ha uh, professional hackers build some backdoors and uh, in different antiviruses that will help them to crack those codes easily thank you this was my presentation and have a wonderful day and these are some of the references that i used